Hey, art friends, in this lesson, we're gonna do another folding surprise. What are we drawing? A stack of kittens. A stack of cute Christmas kittens. What do they need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Okay, let's get started. Let's first take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom. And when you line it up, I always like to fold it down the middle first, like that, and then out to the edges. Makes it a little easier. <laughs> oh, squeaky. <laughs> Now we're going to take this edge and fold it back up to the top. Line it up and then fold it right down the middle and then out to the edges. Now also let's flip it over and we'll do one more fold. We're going to fold this bottom edge up to the top also. Now we're going to just use this fold as a guide so we know where to draw and where not to draw. Now we can open it back up flatten out that fold, and then let's flip it back over, and we're ready to draw. Now let's also put a scratch piece of paper underneath our drawing so that our marker doesn't bleed through the one sheet and get onto our table. We're using red paper so that it's easier for our friends to see the white paper, but you guys can just use scratch paper any color you want. Now we're first gonna draw two little paws, and they're gonna be right on top of the fold. We're gonna draw two ovals or two circles, we're going to start here, we're going to draw one paw on the left, and then also another paw over here on the right. <laughs> Good job. Half of the paw is on the top part, and half of it is on the bottom. Let's draw two lines on each paw, and I'm going to draw them on the bottom part, so below the fold. Draw two over here also for little toes on our two kitten paws. <laughs> now let's draw the stocking that the kitten's coming out of. So first we're going to draw a line underneath the fold. And I'm going to draw a short line over here on the left and also on the right. And now we're drawing the fluffy part, the top part of our stocking first. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to draw a... It's kind of like a really wide U, like that. <laughs> That's the part that the kitten's going to be coming out of. Now we're going to draw the bottom part of this stocking, and we don't have a whole lot of room, so we're going to draw a really short stocking. I'm going to draw a short line that comes down, <laughs> and a longer line that comes down over here. Now this part I'm going to curve under for the bottom of the stocking and then back up and connect to the other side. There's our stocking shape. It's a mm. really short stocking. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw our kitten. On, we're going to draw it on the top part of our folded surprise. So we're going to draw the two eyes. We're going to draw two big circles. I'm going to draw them really big. One like that. And then I'm going to draw another big eye over here on this side. Now let's draw this kitten a little cross-eyed. So I'm going to draw another circle on the inside like this and another one on the inside over here. <laughs> then we can draw, and I'm going to draw one more circle or a half circle on the outside of that one. <laughs> oh, I like how you're making them even bigger. Good job, dude. And then... Yeah, good, I like it. Now we can draw the highlights for our eyes. Let's draw a smaller circle inside the pupil. Now let's color in the pupil. So that's this, that's this first circle, but we're gonna leave the little one, the smallest one, white. Now remember, anytime we fast forward, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Pause the video if you need extra time. Okay, let's draw the nose. I'm gonna draw a little V in between the eyes and connect the top. We can also color that in if we want. And then I'm going to draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a J and a backwards J in between. There we go. There's our kitten face. <laughs> now we need the ears. Let's draw an A shape. I'm going to draw it coming right up over here and back down. And we can do that same shape over here on the left side. 
now we can connect the two ears together with a curve in between them. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw the cheeks. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down like this. And at the very end, before we connect it in, we could also do a little zigzag line if we want. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Curve and then zigzag before it connects into the paw. All right, now let's draw the inside of our kitten ears. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down the middle. The letter M or a zigzag line and then connect it to the outside. And repeat the same step over here. Line down the middle, the letter M, and then connect it to the outside. Our kitten looks awesome. Yeah. Except let's add some whiskers. I'm gonna add one, two, three whiskers, and the same thing on the right cheek. Three whiskers sticking out. Oh, that's, that's so a, cute. That's a pretty cute kitten. Now, we're not completely done. What do we gotta do next? Open it. Yes, let's open it. Now we're ready to draw the inside or the folding surprise part. Let's first finish the kitten up here at the top. Let's complete the first kitten's paws. So we're going to draw a little U's to connect the bottom. Then we can also add the two lines for the toes, just like we did down here. Now we're going to draw this one sitting on top of another kitten's head. So right below this fold, I'm going to draw another line. This is the top of the kitten's head. Then let's draw the eyes. We're going to draw them right below the paws. I'm going to draw one big circle underneath this paw and also another one underneath this paw. Now we're going to repeat a lot of the same steps since our kittens are going to look very similar to each other. So this one I'm going to draw also cross-eyed. I'm going to draw the two half circles inside the big circle and we can do another one on the outside of that. There we go. One on each side. And then let's also draw the highlight. I'm going to draw a smaller circle in the top of the pupil and then color in the pupil but leave the smaller circles white just like we did up here so that the eyes look shiny. There's a reflection or a highlight in the eye to make them look shiny. All right, now we can draw the nose. I'm going to draw the V and then connect the top and color it in. <laughs> then let's also draw the mouth. I'm going to draw the J and a backwards J. <laughs> then let's draw the ears and I'm going to draw them sticking out to the side. Now we want to make sure that we don't draw the, the ears above this fold. So I'm going to draw it off to the side like this. I'm going to draw an A shape that is on its side and an A shape over here on the side also. <laughs> Got it. Now let's draw this the cheeks. We're going to draw a line that comes down on each side. And I'm going to draw the little zigzag line for his fuzzy cheeks. And then let's connect the bottom with a curve. Perfect. You're doing a great job, man. Are you having fun? Yes. All right. Let's draw the details inside of the kitten's ear. So we're going to draw that line down the middle, a little zigzag. Now if you want you could just add one zigzag or you could add two. We'll do the same thing over here, connect it to the outside and maybe this one has a spot on its eye. So I'm going to draw a little curve that connects to the nose. And then I'm going to draw that little curve coming out of the bottom and then connecting to the chin. Now let's draw the paws and we want to make sure that we leave enough room for our last kitten's head down here. So you have a little less room than I do. So I'm going to draw our, my paw right here with a little space in between the head, but you could draw it really close to the head so that you have more room. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Draw the other paw. Let's add those two toe lines. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to connect two lines for the arms or for the body. Then let's draw the next kitten. So we can draw the line in between the two paws. Then let's add the eyes just like we did over here. So I'm going to draw two big circles. Well, this one's really big circles. 
All right, kittens are looking awesome. Yeah. This one, I'm gonna draw the eyes looking up at the other kitten. So I'm gonna draw that half circle at the top of the bigger circle on each side. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw that other one right next to it. This second line is for the colored part in the eye. Yeah, good job. Now let's draw the highlight. We'll draw that smaller circle. There's a lot of circles inside these eyes. Yeah. Then let's color in the pupil, but leave that smaller circle white. One more time. Okay, what do we draw next? It's nose. The nose. We'll draw a V, and then connect the top, and color it in. Then we can draw the J, small J, and a backwards J. And this one I'm going to draw with the tongue sticking out, so I'm going to draw a U shape. Yeah, and you can also add that line right down the middle. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with our last little kitten. Let's draw the top of his paws. So upside down use on each side. Then I'm gonna draw one ear sticking up. So this ear is gonna be up. And then the ear over here is gonna be down. So I'm gonna draw really, <laughs> I'm gonna draw a line coming down and back in. Then let's draw the cheeks and the little zigzag before we connect it. And I'll do the same thing over here. <laughs> this one, this cat might be my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> then let's draw the inside of the ears. Line down the middle, zigzag, and then connect to the outside. Same thing over here. Line down the middle, zigzag, and connect. What are we missing on these two? I forgot. The whiskers. The whiskers. Let's draw three really long lines on the cheeks each side and I'm going to do the same thing down here. <laughs> now down here at the bottom, let's finish the stocking. I'm going to draw a curve that comes in and connects to the cat's cheek up here at the top. Now that makes it look more 3D like the cat's coming out. Okay dude, I think we're almost done except we're missing one last detail on our kittens. What are we missing? Tails. Tails. Okay, I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna draw a curvy S line that comes up like that. <laughs> I'm gonna draw another one right next to it, and if you need to, you can use overlapping to go behind the ear. Now, I'm gonna add one more tail up here. This one's maybe coming from the top, the top kitten. So I'm gonna draw another S line, another one right next to it, and then connect at the bottom with a curved line. <laughs> now this one I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little curved line. Maybe he has a spot on his face and a spot on his tail. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing our kitten stack, our Christmas kitten stack, and it looks yes. awesome, except it's gonna look even better once we do what? Color it. Color it, yeah, we need to color it. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. All right, dude, we finished coloring our Christmas kittens. It looks really cute, all folded yeah, it up. Does. Except we gotta show our friends what's inside. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Merry kittens. Merry, Merry, Merry kittens. Did you, <laughs> you said Merry kittens? Merry kittens. <laughs> I, I guess that works. <laughs> yeah. It looks so much better colored in, and we also added two little extra surprises on the side. Yeah. Candy canes. Candy canes. Yeah. Or you guys at home can use your creativity to add whatever you want. You could add the candy canes. You could also add other stuff like presents or maybe even more cats. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Christmas kittens. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Merry kittens. Merry kittens. Merry kittens. Merry kittens. <laughs>